Hello everyone, welcome back to Stitches with Charlie Feathers and it's so lovely to have you here. We've got lots of new subscribers and yeah, welcome along. So as you can see, we're back in the woods and for those of you who are new here, I used to record in the woods all the time because this is where I'm happiest. <laughs> and the weather's just been so horrendous for such a long time with the odd day here or there where it's been sunny that it's just been really hard to get out, you know, juggling, looking after the girls and running my small business, Charlie Feathers. It's just been, it's just been difficult to find time to come out in nature and record. Um, and I have had a few requests, when am I gonna be coming back out in the woods? So here I am. And I'm hoping that we're gonna have no dog walkers and no cyclists today, that would be really nice. <laughs> My daughters finish for half term today, their summer break, and their school's just over there on the other side of the woods. So as long as I keep an eye on the time, we should be fine, but I can just shoot over there and pick them up and hopefully we get everything done. I last recorded at home and um, that was a few months ago now. I think when I looked before, it was like 58 days or something ago that I had last recorded. So I thought I'd take this quick opportunity to record. Such a beautiful day today. It's been really nice in Cornwall in the UK the last couple of days. It's been really sunny, not too much wind. Can you hear the birds? Oh, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, we've been blessed with some nice weather. Anyway, I've got a humongous bag full of whips. I've got a few FOs and a tiny bit of haul. So let's get cracking, shall we? The first FO, I'm not sure if I've shown this before to you, but this is the October Mini from the Stitching Cabin, her series that she released last year. You can buy these, but they're not free anymore. I only have to pay for them now. Let me just hold this box up behind. Yeah, and I'm still working my way through them. I'm working on November at the moment, which I'll show you in a moment. Sorry, covering my mouth there. But yeah, this is October, I got finished. And then at the weekend, I started um, a little cottage kit, which was a vintage kit that my friend found in a charity shop for me. And then coincidentally, I found another exact same one in a charity shop like a couple of weeks later. Um, so I gifted that to my friend Sarah, cross-stitched cross Sarah, and we stitched it together. Started at the weekend and I got mine finished. And I stitched on some 32 count vintage cream from Swigart. And I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. I used all the little flosses that came in the kit. And I'm going to send this on to lovely Lucy, who I follow on Instagram. She's good friends with Lindsay Wolfie Stitches. And she asked if she could stitch it. So that's going to be going off to her. I'll replace the threads and give her a bit of fabric. And when I was looking through the the finished box of doom, as I like to call it, all my things that are unfinished, just in a in a box. If I was, you see me wafting this because there's a few flies, I found this little cottage kit, which me and Sarah also stitched last year, I think it was, or maybe the year before. And it got me thinking how I'd like to stitch some more little cottages and maybe make them into a quilted panel on a project bag. I think that would look really nice. And then the last finished object I've got to show you is this beautiful, beautiful little flower truck, which was um, part of this sun box from West Green Loft Yarns, or otherwise known as Wiggly. And um, yeah, I'll show you the contents of the rest of the box later on in my haul section. But yeah, I'm stitching this in a sow um, with Cross Stitch Sarah and Kim Stitchy Squirrels because um, Kim bought a box as well and Sarah had it. So we're stitching it all together. We said any time in July, but I started mine on the 1st of July because I needed a new start and I got it done within a day or two. And I stitched that on the 32 count hand dyed from Wiggly. And I used all the DMC. So yeah, they're my finishes. And then we're just going to start rattling through the whips because um, I've got quite a few. We'll just go through whatever comes out of the bag first. So my lovely pumpkin bag which is from Fanny um, who have, have Fanny and Marion are two friends that live in France near the German, German Swiss border and um, they now have a floss tube called the soul stitches I think it's called so go and check that out if you don't already 
So she made and gifted this bag to me because I really love the fabric. Thank you, Fanny. <laughs> and, oh yes, the first one I've pulled out is this really lovely hobby jobby kit called Inner Spirit. And this is a pattern that is by, uh, I think she's Russian, uh, Victoria Ivachenko. Um, she's got a few really gorgeous patterns. I'm trying to get in touch with her actually, and I'm not having much luck. I want to buy some more of these girls and a few other of her lovely patterns. And I'm trying to find out if she'll accept PayPal because Boosty is not working with PayPal anymore. It's a real pain. I'm actually starting to think about whether I should set up a new bank account with a separate card that I can use for transactions like that. I'm a bit concerned because I used my card for like a foreign purchase before. Oh, no, it's okay. It's just a van going by. I thought it was a cyclist. <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, I used it before for a foreign purchase. And then I had some really suspicious activity on my bank account. So I got a bit paranoid. It could be nothing to do with that at all. Obviously, I'm not going to name who it is because it might be nothing to do with them. But it just made me a bit suspicious about using my card. And I'd rather use PayPal. Anyway, I bought this really lovely kit from Hobby Jobby in a spirit. I absolutely adore her. And I decided not to use the Ada that came in the pack. And I just wanted to see her on some green even weave. And I had a vision in my mind, so I thought I'd have a go at dyeing some 32 count myself. And it turned out really well. I've got lots of working threads on this one because there's lots of blends in it. Um, there's that box again. I'll hold it up with the box. And this is how she's looking. So this is um, some 32 count that I've dyed with dylon dye i think it's called forest green and i just mixed up a really small amount scrunched it up and put it in and i dyed about three or four pieces of fabric um i gifted one to kim and then i think i've still got another one maybe so maybe i dyed three but this one really weirdly i don't know if you can see this very clearly but this mottling here looks like a feather really bizarre <laughs> I was like, that's the piece of fabric to dye it on then. It's like it's meant to be. I hope it shows up. It really does look like a feather. I thought it was really, really odd. So, yeah, I love this one. I love stitching that rose in her hair. The blends on her face are absolutely gorgeous. And I love this curl that's coming in down her face. So, yeah, getting on quite well with this one. I think it's, I think it's around the 50% mark on Pattern Keeper. Love it. I'm going to pack away as I go because otherwise I'm worried that I'll have to leave in a rush and I'll forget things because I have got so much with me today. Okay, the next bag. This was made by um, the Fox's Cottage, Lorena, who I really miss. I'm not quite sure what's happened thinking about you Lorena if you do happen to watch this and this was really kindly gifted to me by um, Claire at Love Poppet and it's her dreaming of summer sound and this is four parts completed so part one was um, the cornflowers and the sunflowers and the tulips part two was the cottage I made a couple of changes. I filled in the windowsills and the window and the doorknob because I prefer things like that feel, filled. Um, so the only negative space was the heart and the flower pattern above the door. And then uh, part three was um, these hollyhocks and daisies. And then this part was part four with the beautiful, I think it's a rose, and some marigolds and that beautiful butterfly. And then we got part five today, so I'm looking forward to stitching that. Thank you, Claire. I've really loved being a part of your stitch along, and thank you for gifting it to me. And if you don't know, Claire at Love Poppet started her own floss tube channel, which is really lovely. And she's also started a Patreon, which I couldn't resist. Okay, the next one, which is a really lovely gift from my lovely friend Yasmin. Yasmin's made with love. 
This is her sunflower season bag, which you can go and purchase. She's still got it available on her website. It's really gorgeous. Isn't this fabric amazing? And Yasmin, she designed all of this panel herself. She's so clever. I'm really inspiring. <laughs> and inside is some dotty fabric. And I purchased her summer duo charts, which are gonna look like this. And I bought the painted box um, to finish it on top of. So yeah, I bought the charts and the box and then Yasmin really kindly gifted me the sunflower charts, the sunflower bag, sorry. So thank you, Yasmin. And yeah, what I love about what Yas does, she coordinates everything. So the box is painted blue, as you can see, it's got gorgeous beehives on it and bees. And the bees are 3D, they're really cool. And inside she's used vinyl paper to line the box and it's polka dots like the inside of the bag it's so clever <laughs> um i just love her attention to detail and yasmin was so kind and reached out to me and asked me if i'd like to collaborate with her on her box club so um i did some christmas christmas needle minders for her um, a really cute little truck, red truck with a Christmas tree on the back and a really lovely red needle minders with a snowflake design on them. And then she reached out again and asked if I would do some matching beehive needle minders. And I'll try and put a picture in here so you can see what I'm talking about. But Yaz has still got these available. So if you'd be interested in any of these charts or the bags or the box and the box club, which has got um, the box and a matching Charlie Feathers needle minder then just go over and check her shop out and I'll make sure I put a link in the in the description box below and yeah watch this space because me and Yasmin are going to be doing some more collaborations together which is really really exciting and as well as this um, there was also an exclusive chart um, which I'm not going to flash to you because it it's basically like it's all in this packaging and I don't want to open it but it's it's a honeybee jar with some honey, with some um, flowers and um, a honeybee. It's really, really, really cute. So me, well, Kim set up a stitch along for Summer Duo um, and we started it this Monday, th this week. I don't know what date that was, but we're Thursday today. So we started it on Monday. I completely forgot and didn't start till Tuesday. Sorry about that, Kim. <laughs> and there's a few other people stitched along with us. There's um, a shell from Cheesecake and Cross Stitch. Um, I think Ellie from Stitch and Bee is joining us. And I think there's some other people as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry, my memory is not always the best. So I've just had one night of um, stitching on this. And this is where I got to. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love the colours, the design. And I'm stitching this on some West Green Loft Yarns Fabric Club. I'm not in her club, but she sometimes dyes extra. And then you, if you're quick, you can get them. So I managed to get this one. I think it's called Butterscotch. I think it was a couple of months ago. And I thought it would be perfect for this design. So I'm doing the one that I'm going to attach to the top of the box as a finish. And this lovely needle minder, look at this. This is from Ali at Misfit Stitches. I've admired her needle minders for so long and she reached out to me fairly recently and asked me if I still want one and that she'd gift me one. So I got a lovely package from Canada a few days ago and I'll show you what else I got in it later. So Yasmin has absolutely smashed it out of the park again with her designs as she always does. Yaz also sent me these cards recently. I got them all. These are just like Charlie feathers to a T, aren't they? There's a few more, I think. What have I done with them? Oh, I love them so much. Thank you, Yaz. She went to Kew Gardens and she got them from there. Okay. Right, the next one is in my lovely bag, which was a tea towel gifted from my lovely friend, B. She lives in Australia. And this lady hand paints these tea towels. 
B sent me a couple, so I made one into a project bag. This is a really lovely gift from Yasmin again. She gifted this to me when we first became friends. Uh, not long afterwards, it was my birthday. And um, yeah, she gifted me this from Our Forest Embroidery, House Spirit it's called. And I always felt intimidated by it because it was a full kit that came with the flosses and I never felt experienced enough or skilled enough to use the variegated threads that came with it. I just didn't want to ruin it. Um, but now I feel like my skill level is enough that I feel confident to give it a go and it's turning out really, really well. So this is the matching needle minder that came with it, that little goose. And yeah, I'm really cracking on well with this. I really, really love it. Yeah, so this is the start of his hair here. And what I absolutely love about um, our forest kits is I'll show you quickly. So it comes in this lovely little box. And you get um, you get these little tiny skeins, which I haven't got anymore, but they're tied in little skeins, little twisted skeins with jute around them. And then you get these little cardboard bobbins to wrap them on. Such a lovely touch. Um, you get a really beautiful instruction booklet. Um, that you get a big full chart but then you also get a sheet of the chart which you can cut up I'll just show this briefly because obviously copyright and things but you can cut up the chart into small sections so you just stitch a section at a time like this and you get lots of little ones so you can stitch it in sec sections so yeah I love the Owl Forest kits and I'd love to have more in the future. It's just the shipping, it puts me off. The shipping is so, so expensive. I think it needs to be a case you need to team up with a few other people and get some kits together. Okay, the next one is in this lovely bag that I bought fairly recently from a shop near me. Love this. I like who I'm becoming because we're evolving all the time, aren't we? We're never the same people. And I've been really humbly reminded of that because my oldest daughter, well, she's, she's seven and a half now, but this last year, all her teeth have just started falling out <laughs> in quite quick succession. And um, it just made me realize that every seven years, like all the cells in our body regenerate. So we're never the same person every seven years. Our whole body is like renewed over that period of time. And it really reminded me of that. And it just made me feel, it made me think of that. I like who I'm becoming because we're always evolving and changing. And this is another stitch along with lovely Fanny and Marion from Soul Stitchers, Laura from Cotton and Clay or Butterfly Stitches 83, Kim Stitches Squirrels, um, I think there's a few other people again. We are stitching the Heart in Hand Seaside Tiny Town. And I won this in a lovely giveaway from Somi. I always get her name wrong, just so Sherry. <laughs> and it gave me the motivation to start it. Um, I decided to stitch mine on a Swigart 32 count in vintage cream, not vintage cream, vintage pink. And I'm using variegated floss from various things, Weeks Dye Works, Classic Colour Works. Um, I've got some River Hut Designs. I've got some Roxy Floss. Um, yeah, all sorts. Just whatever I felt would um, complement the colours on the chart. And I've just reached the halfway mark. I was actually stitched on this last night because I was a bit tired. And I realised that this last bit that I tied off before I went to bed, this little cloud on the first half of the chart. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know what that is. There's a tiny little knot before I've... Um, not in the thread before I've tied it off. That's a bit annoying. So I'm going to have to unpick that and restitch it. But never mind. Yeah, I'm loving how that's looking on the pink. I think it looks really nice. Next one, I think this might be a finished object since I last saw you. 
this lovely bag that I created with applique. I don't know if I showed this panel on my flush tube, but I've now finally made it into a little bag. And I've got a lovely um, zipper pull, which was a scissor and needle, like a, a scissor and zipper pull club from Don't Step On Your Needle. So yeah, this is all um, crazy patchwork and free motion embroidery on the flower pot. And it says, um, bloom where you are. And then these are all um, applique with free motion embroidery. So yeah, really pleased with how this bag turned out. And inside is just plain. And I am thinking about in the future when I've got a bit more time making some of these for the shop. And I've got, I want to make some small notions pouches as well. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And in here, I've got Stitcher's Retreat House from Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. And this was a stitch long that I was doing with my lovely friend, Sally. She finished hers by Stitch in London last year, and I'm determined to get it done by Stitch in London this year. And this is where I'm up to now. I think there's a horse in that field. Sounds like it. So yeah. Ooh. Hope you can see that okay. The sun's come out. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm up to. Next one is another me made bag of some hand embroidery on some naturally dyed fabric. I dyed this with avocado pits and pits and skin. And this is my own embroidery design of these gorgeous little birds in this tree. I used to sell these and make these as well. I used to be so good at French knots. <laughs> feel like I've kind of lost that skill a little bit. I need to practice more. And in here, this is a free design, so I can just flash it quickly. It's Laurie Holt's Granny Square. And I'm stitching this on Ada, which is unusual for me. I don't enjoy stitching on Ada much anymore. And I'm making nine granny squares to make a project bag. It will be this section along here on the project bag. Not sure what happened there. My camera went a bit do lally. <laughs> just froze and it won't work. Um, so yeah, I copied this idea from Ashley of a little patience who has completely disappeared as well. She's not recorded for like a month. I really hope she's okay. I might send her a message actually, because she used to record like every week or every two weeks, like routine. Um, but yeah, she did this idea and I wanted to copy her. So I'm using leftover threads. Um, from cotton and twine boxes that I've had in the past or knicker kits and yeah I picked this back up and did another square in a bit as you can see so how many have I got there one two three four five six we're on the seventh one out of nine so this will get done soon I hope it was good actually because when I paused I checked the time and we're good for time so that's always good <laughs> Okay, the next one is from my lovely friend, Hazel. Hello, Hazel. She gave this bag to me at Stitch in London. And in here we have, um, I never remember this designer's name, just let me have a look. She's called Melena Stitch and it's called, uh, I think it's something like Dreams or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Oh my gosh, I adore this project so much. Again, it's got quite a lot of blends and things in it. But we're really getting on with this now. Isn't she absolutely stunning? It's not all backstitched yet, so she's holding a little cup of tea that's steaming. And um, it's going to have all black work steam going out over here. Um, and I need to finish back stitching the tree. But I don't know if you can see all the lovely blends and detail. And look at those lovely birds. 
and I've got all those leaves to backstitch and I've got the branch here to finish and there's some more birds. I absolutely love it. And this is a fabric by um, Coffee Craft Fabric Megan. And that lovely needle minder I bought from Laura Cotton Clay. Love it. Well, the sun's gone in. We've still got quite a few in here, guys. <laughs> Another me made bag. And this is something that I've worked on a lot. This is Windy Mood. Um, who's the designer? I think it's made for you cross stitch. I bought it from mybobbin.com. They do accept PayPal. <laughs> and yeah, lovely Laura, Laura, sorry, at, um, I Stitch Birds. She saw this pattern and sent it to me and said, I think this is you. <laughs> the same as the last one I just showed you, the Dreams one. That was also um, enabled by Laura. She said, this is you, you must stitch it. Isn't she beautiful? Another one. I love stitching people. You, you'll you probably know that by now. I stitch Barbara Anna's. I love most of her lovely ladies. And um, I just love stitching quirky people with animals. Some of the fractionals in this really tested my skills. There's quite a lot of fractionals in the leaves in her hair. And there's also some in these leaves here, these plants, which I haven't backstitched or put the French knots in yet. They will become more defined. Um, and there were some fractionals in these bits of the waves as well and in the birds. So it did quite challenge me, but in a good way. I think someone's coming, we might have to stop in a minute. But yeah, absolutely loving this one. And this lovely needle minder was also in the summer box from Wiggly. Just going to stop. <laughs> Sorry about that. Have I gone a bit flushed and red? Quite a young woman just came through, probably in her 30s with her big dog. I had to move my tripod out of the way for her to walk past. <laughs> Honestly, like, why is it when I come here just for a walk, I never see a soul. And then as soon as I bring my tripod on my camera, like every man and his dog comes <laughs> Oh, they're like magnets. Ugly project bag. See, I still need to make some more project bags because I've still got some ugly ones. And I've really made an effort with this one as well since I last saw you. This is lovely Miss Scissors from Nitka in collaboration with Barbara Anna. And yeah, I really, really focused on this one for a good week, if not a bit more. And I got such a good chunk of this done. I'm using all the kit floss and the fabric. So when I picked it up, um, I'll just move it down a bit. When I picked it up, I literally had the top of this bobbin, a little bit of the blue, and a hat, that was it. And the hat wasn't even finished. And I just worked on it until I got all of that bobbin done, all of her done, and the scissors at the sides in her hands. So literally I've just got the flowers to do either side and the big pair of scissors on the top. And then this one will be finished. So that'll be Miss Coffee and Miss Tea. Sorry, Miss Coffee and Miss Scissors are complete. Um, I stitched this long with Yaz, but she finished it ages ago. I'll only have Miss T left to do. And I'm going to frame them all together and put them up as a collection somewhere in my house, maybe in my bedroom, actually. Not got much space left on my Barbara Ann wall. And I've still got probably three or four of her finishes I've not even framed yet. And really excitingly, Barbara Anna has recently put some of those up for sale in her shop. I can't remember, I think Miss Coffee's definitely there and Miss Scissors, but I don't think Miss T's there yet, but she's slowly releasing the Nickel ones, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to get my hands on um, which one. I really want the Mitrioska doll because Yasmin luckily managed to get one before they sh stopped all the buying from Russia at the point of the war with Ukraine. She just managed to get her order in. I waited a day and then I couldn't get my order through. I was absolutely gutted. So I want the Mitrioska doll and there was another one I really, really want. Oh, the moths and mushrooms. So hopefully they'll be coming soon. Lovely bag from Pauline at Sew Me Bags. Pauline's lovely. 
and I'm doing the Tour de France challenge this month with lovely Laura at I Stitch Birds because she's doing the girl with a pearl earring that she really wants to move along. And she messaged me and said, I think this is the perfect opportunity for you to get them bloody cats worked on. <laughs> or something along them lines. So yeah, I dug it out. I managed to get the yellow one done. Woohoo! The yellow one's completely done. And then I've started working on the stripy blue one next to it. This is the, the edge of the stripy one. So the fourth one will be here, which is quite a big one, like the one on the left, that flowery one. So I think um, the stripy one is like skinny, like in width, but then the face is quite big at the top. But I'm making really good progress with this on the Tour de France. I think at the end of it, if I keep up with it, I get 3,500 stitches in this, which is really good progress. And uh, after watching Anita, the violet stitcher, the other day, and for her full, full coverages that she's concentrating on, she puts in 200 stitches. I am going to message her and ask her if she does that every day or a certain amount a month, but she makes really good progress on her full coverages. And I can see it with this, and I just want this done. This is my oldest whip. I don't really like it anymore. I'm literally, it is a labour of love for my daughter, my eldest daughter, because she loves this project. And it is pretty, it's just they're so big and it's so blocky and it's just not what I like stitching anymore. This is Hall, this lovely needle minder from Hobby Jobby again, because I bought a Nerge hoop from them. They had um, spend £10 get free delivery so I bought a small size 2 Nerge because I struggle with just one of those so I've got two now and just to top up to over £10 I bought this lovely needle minder and it's a reversible one look at the messy bat this is another reason why I don't like this project because I don't stitch like that anymore so you can have either the dark or the light bird facing so thank you to Laura for encouraging me to do the challenge some days I find it really hard to pick it up, but then I think about, you know, the long run, having the completed project and getting further on it. And I do feel excited to get it one day off my whip list, not have to look at it anymore. <laughs> then the next challenge will be how to frame it. I might just pay for a professional framer for that one. I just don't think I've got it in me to try and do it myself. I know Yaz has not framed hers yet. Um, she called it the bloody felines, if you watch Yaz, and it really plagued her as well as a whip. Um, there was something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah, me and, me and Laura have both got a carrot to keep us working on those whips. And we're both, we've both chose a Luca S kit um, that we want to get as our reward if we complete the challenge. And I'll put a picture up of the one that I want to get from Hobby Jobby, and it's called Spring Night. And when you see it, you'll know exactly why I want it so much. You can get it in Petite Point, which I had no idea what Petite Point is. I messaged um, Mad Morty, you know, Morty and Brom, because they live quite close to me and we've got a stitch group. It'll be coming up soon, actually, won't it? I'm looking forward to that. It's the third Saturday of the month. And um, I messaged Morty, actually, and said, what is Petite Point? I asked Kim, and I think we came to the conclusion that it's half cross. <laughs> But you can either get the petite, petite point kit, which is a bit cheaper, or you can get the full cross kit. I'm going to get the full cross kit, which is still discounted. I think it's £23, which is good for a kit, isn't it? With all the Luca S threads. And after using the Luca S, thread, Luca S threads on that um, Hobby Jobby kit in a spirit that I showed you, the first whip, I really like them, actually. They're really nice to work with. Another gift from Yaz. It's one of her lovely little organisers. Um, I don't know why they're not zipped up, but yeah, it's perfect for the size one Nerge. And I'm stitching another one of the Stitching Cabins monthly um, minis, and this is the November one. I'm going to change up the mushroom. They were all this cut. These are the called for colours. And the one here is like a fly agaric, but it's in browns. I want to make it like a proper fly agaric, you know, with um, red and white, red with white spots. So I've got to finish this one and then December, and then that will be that finished. I have to get it done by the end of the year. I would like to get them displayed this year. So I have to get this one finished by November. 
and I have to get the December one finished really by November at the latest but I go through a bit of a flurry with these like I don't pick them up for ages and then when I do pick one up I really enjoy it and get it finished within a couple of days and then I stitch the next one really really quickly and then I have a break again it's just my brain I guess oh last whip yay in a cross stitch Sarah bag which she gifted to me for one of my birthdays and this is the lovely do more of what makes you happy oh thought I had a fly on my face then Ooh. do more of what makes you happy by historical sampler company which has finished now and they really kindly gifted this to me and I've only got up to the end of part one Kim's finished hers she's so disciplined Ooh. now all my stuff's falling out of my project bag <laughs> But yeah, this is where I'm up to. It's so backstitch heavy, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I am gonna pick it up again and work on part three. I just needed a break. I think it's quite intensive counting, um, but really beautiful colors, really beautiful design. And I really, I really do love working on it, but um, I think I found it quite difficult to keep up with the releases every two weeks for such an intense stitch, but yeah, love it. And thank you to Historical Sampler Company for gifting it to me. Right, what are we on to now? Let's show you a little bit of haul and stitchy kindness. So as promised, I'll show you the summer box. So I already showed you the fabric that I got, the chart that I got with that little flower truck, the finish that I've had. Um, it had the words blessed above the truck and I didn't really like that so I just left it off and I've now sent that pattern on to lovely Lorna she's going to stitch it and that lovely little floral needle minder with the little flower pot that I showed you that's from Wiggly from this box as well these were the flosses the called for flosses um, for the flower truck but I just used my DMC main stash and then I've got these as extras I've still got a little bit of fabric left there was this lovely chart by Whilst Iris Designs, Whilst Iris Naps Designs, of this lovely strawberry pin cushion, and that was to stash dive. So I do really like this, but it's a bit too prim for me. I don't really stitch much prim, so I'm going to brighten up the colours and might brighten up the fabric a bit as well, but I'm going to stitch it on. There was this really lovely kit. Um, one sec, I'm just going to undo the plastic packaging so inside here you've got two DMC's you've got a lovely terranium needle minder and another lovely piece of wiggly linen I think it's 36 count this one I'm trying to balance it on my lap um, this is a kit by Crafty Dreams, and it's an embroidery kit. You get all these really lovely floral um, papers, which you can peel the back off and stick it to the fabric, because um, the transfers have an adhesive back. Stitch the designs using a hoop, and then once done, soak the area in warm water and gently rub the transfer away and let it dry. And it tells you like what um, stitches you should be using for what areas of the flowers. So we've got back stitch, split stitch, stem stitch, satin stitch, brick stitch, lazy daisy and French knots. Some of those I haven't done for a long, long time or I've never done. I don't even know what they are. I don't know what brick stitch is. Um, and I don't think I've ever done split stitch. So that will be really good to improve my embroidery skills again. Oh, I'm getting a little fuddle here. <laughs> And I thought when that's finished, that would make a nice project bag as well. Because as I said, I'm trying to phase out what I would call my ugly project bags, which are not handmade, basically. Because I'm evidently a project bag snob. Oh, hello, Natalie. Natalie from Home Sweet Handmade. Home Sweet Home Handmade has just sent me a lovely WhatsApp message. Hi, Natalie. She's lovely. I love her floss tube. And um, she sends me really lovely postcards and cards in the post. We're like pen friends, as you know, so nice. But I messaged her this morning to say that I hadn't, um, I hadn't come unscathed from the latest 
Rachel Jarvis, Ray Jar, on Etsy, her latest project bag sale. Um, I bought a really cute little project bag. So I messaged her this morning to say that I'd bought that. So she's probably just replying. You get this really lovely little thing, little, I don't know what you'd call that, charm? <laughs> it says thread only, so you could put it on your scissors. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It's a vegan moisturizing hand cream from One Legged Robin. And I tell you, this smells absolutely incredible. Oh, I have used some of it. It's very, it's very rich. You only need a tiny little bit. Oh, I want some now that I've opened it. <laughs> God, isn't this nice? Love bringing you out in the woods. Honestly, I feel so happy when I'm out here. It just completely fills my bottle up from the stresses of life, of which there's been lots of recently. I'm not going to go into all that because it's just doom and gloom and I want it to be positive here on this channel. And everything's fine and everything's as it should be. And, you know, life's full of ups and downs and challenges and it's just life, isn't it? Just got to get on with it. <laughs> Say that in a really flippant way it's been really hard the last month or so but yeah everything's good i'm here with you guys and that makes me happy and when i come out here it just honestly it just takes away all the stresses and strains of life and i feel like i deplete energy quite quickly um because i'm highly sensitive so i come out here and it just feels like you know, like a petrol tank or something, getting petrol in, it just like completely fills my cup up. I have to be conscious of that because it's easy to have an overflowing cup of stress, isn't it? I'm sure many of you can, or all of you can identify with that. And before I had children, I was a mental health nurse. And I was very good at saying this thing to my patients and my clients, but not very good at telling myself that. <laughs> But, you know, over the years, I've got a lot better and a lot more compassionate with myself. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, aren't I? So I've showed you the summer box and now the rest of my haul is buried under all these whips. So let's move them. Where is it? Here. So I have been a bit naughty since I last saw you. Put that at the end because I've been buying a bit of fabric. And some kits. Shh. Don't tell Mr. Feathers. I think I've managed to sneak a lot in without him knowing. You better not watch this now, because then you will know. I bought some lovely sparkly fabric in Capricorn, because I saw this on Just So Sherry's floss tube ages ago. And she decided not to use it for one of her fancy ladies and I fell in love with it. And Capricorn is actually my birth sign. So I contacted Kate at Sparklers. Really, really wonderful service. She did take a, a, a few days to pick up my emails, maybe a week. But then after I told her what I wanted and, um, you know, what size, what count, what um, dye job I wanted, honestly, it was really smooth and I got my fabric really, really quickly. Look at this. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? It's like green and yellow and like a brownie red color. Oh, I love it so much. And I think I'm gonna stitch some lovely lady on there. Not a fancy lady, like one of the ladies, the little quirky ladies that I like. Maybe if I ever get in touch with Victoria Rivachenko and get another one of those yoga ladies, then maybe, maybe I'll stitch one of those on it. We also bought a couple of kits from my bobbin. Oh, this was such a treat when they came. They take quite a long time to come from my bobbin. Can you hear that? Don't know who that is. He's noisy. <laughs> I bought these. Sarah also bought the bear one at the same time as me because I enabled her. These are really affordable little kits. They're from 
Alyssa, I think they're called, A-L-I-S-A. -S and there's four in this series. I just treated myself to two. It's the little hedgehog and the little rabbit with the trees. And then the bear looks like he's talking to the robin. Isn't he gorgeous? And the snowdrops. And I think I'm going to stitch them on some linen. I haven't decided yet, but they'll both be on the same linen. Not the same piece, but um, like I'll get two pieces and stitch them separately. That's what I'm trying to say. Fully enabled by lovely Lindsay at Wolfie Stitches with this Wrencraft kit. I'll try not to get the glare. If I go that way, you can... No, hang on. I don't think I've shown this. Apologies if I did. I'm not sure when I got this. There we go. It's quite an old kit. I can't remember when it's from, but as you can see, it's a photograph, which you never get anymore, do you? Of a little rem with some rose hips. And I'm not sure what this is. Oh, that's how to finish it. But you can tell it's vintage, because look, it's all hand-drawn. And handwritten. What's it say on here when it's from? But yeah, Lindsay talked about these in her floss tube. And then I went looking on Etsy. And I know I know lovely Nell has Elvis she called Elvis Loves Me on a Sunbeam or something like that. I can't remember her exact username. But I know she was enabled by Lindsay and she also got a Rencraft kit, so we're all just enabled by each other, aren't we? My, local, my last bit of haul, apart from other stuff that I've showed you, is this lovely kit from Maloka, which I've been eyeing up for a really long time, and it's called Boho Feathers. And it's a full kit. Look at those yummy colours. And I'm going to stitch that on a piece of... Um, a piece of even weave, I think. I've loved this for a long time. And then they had a second sale and it was £16, including delivery. So it was like half price. I was like, there's no way I'm leaving that. Because I thought about buying the PDF before and even that's £10, which rightly so it should be. But then if you can get a full kit with all the threads and everything for 16 it's a no brainer, isn't it? And this is the lovely package that came from um, Ali. So she sent me the lovely little needle mind with the pyrography moon on that she makes on the little piece of wood. She sent me this lovely, this reminds me of Sally Flossy Sews and Grows, that little chicken on a bike. <laughs> she also sent me some really lovely Roxy Floss because she's from Canada. God, wouldn't it be nice if Roxy Floss was your local needle workshop? This one's called Figure of Speech. I've actually already got one of these in stash, so I'm gonna look for a project that I might need two for, like a monochromatic. She also sent me a really lovely butterfly sticker, which I've um, put in my stitch diary. Yeah, it was a really lovely package. I'm trying to think what else I've been sent. Natalie sent me a lovely card and a lovely postcard and a sticker, which I haven't got with me. And Sarah sent me a few packages. What did Sarah send me? Oh, she sent me some cross-stitcher magazines that she didn't want, that she'd bought, with the harbour kit that they released in two parts, which I really loved. Sarah wasn't going to stitch it, so she said that I could have it, which was really kind of her. I would quite like to start that soon. It reminds me of Mevergissi in Cornwall, the little harbour town, all cute little boats. So, yeah, I definitely want to stitch that. Oh, the light's gone a bit weird, hasn't it? But, yeah, that's everything I've got to show you, and... I'm just so glad to be back. It's so lovely to be here with you all. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything that I've been making. Um, there was one other thing I was going to say to you. I'm just trying to think what project bag it's in. I'm sat on a stump here that I covered my shawl. And my um, shawl, that sounds posh, doesn't it? I mean, scarf. <laughs> a scarf on my jumper because it had brambles on it and I think I've just caught my thumb on a bramble bush then I wanted to tell you about this so if you don't know I've got my own little coffee shop my own little shop on co co coffee or coffee however you say it and I've started this is my newest product which is 
these hand painted, completely hand painted needle minders. I've got really, really strong magnets on them. <laughs> so strong that when I sent one to Yaz, all of her metal tools like magnetized to it. She sent a picture where they were all like <laughs> hanging off this knee off my needle minder. It was hilarious. So yeah, super strong. I dropped my project from a height and the needle was like still on there. Like they're super strong. So I've done a few batches of these and um, I've done a couple of collaborations with Yasmin, as I said at the beginning. Um, but if you're interested in those, then watch this space because hopefully over the summer while I'm pre preparing my stock for Stitch in London, I'm only going to have a small stall this year, I think, because I've just not got much stock because I'm really grateful that I've been really busy and I've got lovely customers and yeah, I've been making a lot of things and they just fly out the door, which is fantastic. Thank you so, so much. I'm so grateful. Um, but I just don't have much stock at home anymore and I've not had as much time because I'm working on people's commissions or collaborations. And um, yeah, it's been really fabulous. So if you would like a needle minder, either send me a, a direct message on Instagram or send me an email um, and we can talk about maybe a commission or me doing you a one-off one with your favorite colors or whatever you want to see on it. Um, I've done that for a few people who've asked for, you know, tabby cats that look like their cat, <laughs> which obviously are not that realistic, but they're my interpretation. Um, and I've done a rubber duck and a bear um, for Sarah. I did another one for Sarah, I can't remember what it was now. Oh, a sheep. Um, and yeah, I've done a few other ones, a moon for shell, cross-stitch cross and cheesecake. So yeah, I'm always open to do commissions or collaborations, even if I'll say to you, it'll take me a little bit of time because I'm a bit busy at the moment, but don't ever be worried about reaching out and asking me. And yeah, I've still got floss drops in the shop. Um, the ones that are £19 for the set, there's only about five or six of those sets left I think but they will never be that cheap again so if you're really after a set and um, maybe you don't have as much to spend or you don't want to spend that much then that is but you still want a set then that's a good option to buy because I'm charging now for um, the correct time of correct time that it takes me to make them if that makes sense plus the materials cost so it's probably a bit more accurate in terms of like my value <laughs> god waffling on i need to go i think it's just so nice to talk to you after all this time but yeah um have a lovely summer i don't know if i'll be back over the summer i might be back in autumn it just depends how the summer holidays go and what's going on at home and what yeah whether I can get out the weekends and things like that to record. So if I don't see you, have a lovely summer. Or if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then have, um, if I said that right, if you're on the opposite side of the world, I'll say that. <laughs> then have a lovely spring and summer. Spring. And I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to do all those things like like, subscribe and share. I'd be ever so grateful. Oh, and a final thing. I've got three giveaway winners, which I haven't drawn yet. I need to redraw one because I haven't heard from the winner for two videos now. And I need to do the drawing for the two um, giveaways from last time I recorded. So I'll do that when I get home and I'll, when I edit it, I'll pop in another video at the end. But I'll say bye. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm just here to announce the giveaway winners. So we have this lovely Emma Louise Art Stitch full, um, full kit with the even weave and the flosses. And this is from Floss Tube 19. And the keyword was meadow. And I've had to redraw this because I haven't heard from the winner for two videos. And the new winner is Smithy Dingbat. And I'll put it um, across the screen. And then we also have two giveaways from Floss Tube 22. The first one was this lovely Sue Hillis Designs buttons and lace chart. The keyword was buttons and the winner is Susanna HPB. 
And the last one is this Stitch in London 2023 Twin Bird Pincushion from Chloe Wood, Girl with the Gavel Stitches. And the keyword was bird and the winner is Lynn Grant 2427. So if those giveaway winners can either send me an email or um, send me a private message on Instagram, I'm at Charlie Feathers on Instagram and then I can get those posted out to you in due course. <laughs> but thanks to everyone who entered, I really enjoyed reading all your comments and responding to you. Yeah, thank you, see you later.